I just wanted to make a quick video to explain to people just a little bit. I won't cover everything, but just a little bit of why I love, absolutely love, owning my own sawmill. Right now, I'm building a bed frame for uh, in my house out of birch logs or out of birch lumber, whatever you want to say. Everything came off of my sawmill, and I absolutely loved it. But I decided I wanted to make a, uh, a bed frame so that I can put, I can raise my bed up a little bit so I can put stuff underneath it and uh, store it because it's just wasted space underneath the bed. It was a lot of hard work to get these stacks of lumber built up. And I have stacks upon stacks of lumber built up. And this is where Sean in Alaska's lumber came from, was that stack right there for his chicken coop. And that stack and this stack. This is all siding that I milled up out of logs that were destined to be left laying on the ground or and rotten or um, destined to uh, be firewood. I happen to really like them for uh, for siding. It makes really really pretty siding. Here's another stack of siding. It's a little bit wider boards because they were a little bit larger trees. But when I want to build something, I just come back here to my wood lot. You can see where I have actually dug through and picked pieces out to get jobs done. Uh, most of the lumber that I'm working with today came out of this pile right here. And that's all birch, birch boards. Uh, they've been here drying for, uh, some of them have been here for two years and some of them for a year. But all of them are good to use, and uh, that's why I love having my own sawmill. Right here, this is the longer stuff that I have, and it's all stickered and drying. I worked long and hard to uh, be able to buy that sawmill. 13 years of saving every extra penny I could to get this sawmill. A lot of work, a lot of hard work. Blood, sweat, and tears went into uh, buying this sawmill. You know, I don't think, most people uh, don't realize how hard I had to work to get this sawmill and get to the point where I am right now with it. Uh, I still have a long ways to go. I'd like to get a covered roof over this thing but that takes time and money, which uh, right now I'm a little bit uh, short on both, but eventually, at least I do have the, the main part of the sawmill protected from the elements, but eventually I would like to have this whole thing covered and underneath the roof so that I can mill even on rainy days. I enjoy uh, giving my time away to people also one of the best things you can do for yourself is to help somebody else. Anytime I'm down, uh, feeling down, or uh, a little bit depressed, whatever you want to call it, uh, go out and help somebody else. I go out and help somebody else. I try to find somebody else that's uh, in a worse spot than I am. And uh, I try to give them a hand up, get them into a better position. And by doing that, I find that I actually help myself more than I help them. Uh, and that, I think that's missing in the world today. A lot of that is, is just missing. Okay, so I was saying just how much I love my sawmill. And this is why. Because I can get boards like this out of it. <clears throat> Those birch boards. This is after they've been run through a thickness planer. 
And I'm going to leave them just like this. I will just screw them together for my bed frame. It's going to be a simple bed frame, but uh, it's going to be a nice pretty bed frame, in my opinion. This is, this is the kind of stuff I like. This board right here will be up against the wall. You'll never see it. This board, because it's the bed is in a corner, so I'll decide one of these boards is going to be up against the wall. Probably, probably this board will be up against the wall. And this board, because it has a little bit more figure in it, is what is going to be facing out. So this will be this will be like the one board on the bed that you actually see. <clears throat> on the bed frame. And there are the legs to my bed. So right there, I have the makings of a bed. Well, plus that piece. So this is one of, this is one of the legs on my uh, bed frame that I'm making. I'll just give you an idea. I'm, I don't have a table saw with a dado blade. Um, I just have a cheap contractor's table saw, so you can't add a dado blade to it to do this the right way. So I'm doing it a little bit harder. I used my compound miter saw. Take you over there. I just set the, I just used this saw. And I'm doing it all outside because I don't have a building that I can do this in. And thank goodness it's uh, been nice weather. Today it's kind of threatening rain, hoping that I can get this done before it rains. But I just set my depth right here. You know, the, so the, the saw goes all the way down like that. But you can set your depth with a little screw. And when it hits, then it doesn't cut all the way down. And that's what I did. With this, I just made multiple passes, and you can see where it has the different passes, um, where the blade, where the saw blade was at a little bit different depths, so it, it you know, just depending upon how much pressure I was putting on the handle, pulling it down. And uh, it did that on both of them. This is kind of a poor man's way of getting this to work. Uh, use my chisels. I never use the hammer for anything. The chisels are sharp enough that they just kind of cut through. But uh, this is one that I've done. It's got a few. Uh, right here, it's got a few little notches, but it's pretty smooth, and it works out. It's a, it's about perfect for the board to go in there, so I don't want to take it down any farther. I won't be able to get a finish put on this, um, just because I don't have a building to put it in. It's going to rain. I need to have this bed up and going here in the next day or two, this bed frame up and going, and, it, and it's installed in the next day or two so that I can get uh, all of my uh, I can use that space for storage that's that's basically why I'm building this um, it's not a, a pretty bed frame I'm, I'm using pretty wood it would make a really beautiful bed frame if I had the time and the space to be able to put a finish on it and uh, put a coat over the top of it I don't have that luxury right now so eventually, hopefully, I will have a wood shop built and I can do all that stuff. And I can either take this bed frame apart and uh, put finish on it by then or make another one. This is what I am doing with the product of my sawmill right now. And I am going to uh, pretty much just screw this together and uh, get it installed in the house. That's the next step I need to do once I get this last 
once I get this last leg done. And that's what I'm going to work on now. And those are just a few of the pictures uh, that, of my bed that's all put together, or after it's all put together. And again, I just have to say that is exactly why I love owning my own sawmill. Not only is it fun to run the sawmill, but it's also fun and it's nice to be able to uh, use my own lumber. <clears throat> And all, all of that lumber, um, not only did I mill all of that lumber on my sawmill, but I also logged all of that lumber. So the birch tree, I logged and hauled home, uh, milled it on the sawmill, stacked it, let it air dry for about a year now. <clears throat> and then uh, cut it up and uh, ran it through a thickness planer made a bed out of it uh, along with some of the spruce i logged that the spruce tree that uh, i used for some of the pieces on that bed and the uh, the cottonwood tree also i logged and milled and dried all myself every all of the wood that is in that bed uh, is from my hard work <clears throat> now the only thing i didn't do is make the screws that hold that bed together. So pretty pretty happy with that fact that I can make it from tree to bed um, all on my own work and not, not going to Home Depot or Lowe's or anywhere and buying the lumber. <clears throat> Not much else to say it's gonna be a long video uh, thank you for watching if you watched it to this far I really do appreciate each and every person that watch my videos um, I will be doing a uh, 200 subscriber giveaway here really soon I had some knives picked out <clears throat> for the giveaway um, and then I got to looking at the knives and I decided no they're not the quality uh, product that I want to even give away um, as a gift. You know, <clears throat> I, I want to find something that's a better quality. So as soon as I figure out exactly what I'm going to do um, for the giveaway, I will uh, get that set up and tell you how you can enter. Yeah, as soon as I can figure out what it is that I have that I can afford uh, to give away, I will definitely be doing that real soon. Thank you for watching Not So Remote Alaska. May God bless and keep each and every one of you. Uh, and with that, I am out.